Yep, welcome back. We are doing more Crusader Kings. Uh, I've been looking forward to this episode. I like let's play in this game. It's uh, really excellent. Oh, first things first. I've had a few comments. I get a lot of comments on uh, Crusader Kings and Paradox games in general. I remember when I did uh, uh, Europa Universalis 3, I got a lot of good comments and I've had this I, I've had the same with this uh, the series. Uh, I was uh, yeah, one I got from Hank Snow was that I am pronouncing ah uh, hang on I will I'm pronouncing Deschure I will say, uh, where is it? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. I'm mixing them up. Domain and Deschur. Deschur. I'm pronouncing it too. Well, wrong. Not really, though. I think I'm doing the French pronunciation. But in English, it should be something like de jure, de jure, de jure, de jure. So that's how we are going to pronounce it from now on. De Jure Kingdom, where is it? Um, yeah, here we are. Okay, this is the De Jure Kingdom of Balthala. Um, but we're not going to go for that. We're not going for De Jure Balthala. We are going to create a Baltic Empire. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. That's part of our kingdom. This is our kingdom right now. Um, yeah, and I was checking this out. I can't raise retinues yet because uh, it has a th this heavy infantry retinue, which I want, has a cap of 900, and I cu I'm currently doing 590. Uh, we'll get that up with the technology and religion. Um, yeah, and from our holdings. So right now we're doing way too little for that. But we're going for, going to create a retinue, which is a, well, standing army, really. Okay. <clears throat> what more? Yeah. Um, we are at war with uh, these guys, and they pulled someone in here. Don't remember. Let's check the diplomatic relations here. Where are all these guys? The Corsini, Corsimi, Corsimi, the Lithuanians, in other words. Uh, and then they pulled these guys into it. These are the Latigallians. The well, I don't know if there's a modern word for that, but. Those are the Letty Galleons. Now, I raised mercenaries here. I think I did that uh, too hastily because I, th I thought our friend here was only sending a hundred men. But look here, we have a big, big army of 4,000 coming in here because we actually pulled Novgorod into the game as well. Our friend Novgorod, where our sister is... Uh, is a princess and she is actually married to the heir of the Grand Principality of Novgorod. Yeah, so we're in a good position here with an alliance with Novgorod. That's the future Russia, so I am a bit scared of them, but uh, yeah, for now we are friends. Denmark is still going strong down there, and we also have a an alliance with uh, our Norwegian friends here, since our wife here, Gunhild, is uh, is from there. Her father is the king of uh, Norway, actually, or Ostlandet. Yeah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we have a daughter here, Elisif. Um I'm hoping to get, to get a son, actually. Um, to expand the bloodline. God, I hate that word, bloodline. Yeah, um, we are going to now um, continue with the war here. Um, 
We are going to embark. Um, those guys, do I really need them? They've been coming all the way from here, all around the Gulf of Finland here. Uh, I think I'm going to disband them when they get into our territory. But for now, we are going out here. Oh, my headphones are way too loud now. I hope the game sound is okay. If it's um, too loud or something, just tell me. Okay, here we are. Let's pause and see what kind of a situation we have. Those guys are coming in here. They would probably take on the army. Um, can you in this game split off sieges? I don't think you can. But we're going to land here. This is our target province anyway. So we are landing and... Uh, and if he he attacks, he can... He can do that. He's more than welcome. Uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> we're trying to improve relations here, aren't we? He's at minus 6 to 1. That's not going too fast, is it? Why does he hate me, actually? Yeah, he was ambitious. I remember. I could check that. We also had... Had someone do something in the previous episode, but I don't know... I don't know what she did, this lady. Uh, I could imprison her. Uh, she has acted dishonorably towards you. I think, uh, I actually think she has been conspiring or having a plot against me. Uh, let's just send her off to prison to rot. There's a 94% chance that we succeed and yeah, she's, uh, she's just, a, what, caught here, so. Yeah, that was fun. Always fun to send people to prison. Um, what more? Yeah, County of Man? Whoa, that's way Man? That's uh, kinda. Isn't that the Isle of Man? Uh, man here? Why do we have a claim here? Oh, it must be our Norwegian. A Norwegian queen who brought that in. Um, well, these are his claims. Claim man. Queen mother. Okay, yeah. It's our, our uh, lovely young queen who brought that claim in. And it has something to do with her mother. We are not going to press it. But it would be fun to get kind of a colony there. I'm really interested in Iceland though. Um, that would me make a colonial expansion in EU4 when we convert the uh, game a lot easier. Um, but I don't think I'm really interested in getting into this mess. Look at it. England is always a mess. Jorvik is still doing fine. Oh yeah, Denmark is in there. Denmark is actually becoming a um, an unbeatable, unbeatable faction for us. Uh, East Francia has uh, fallen apart completely. Blimey. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do about Denmark. Perhaps I should take over Ostlandet here. And, uh, well, just continue expanding east here. So, let's do that. Let's start with Kursimi. Mission to Gotland has so far been a success. What? It's still at minus 61. I seem to have managed to make him understand. What a benevolent and peaceful ruler you, ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. What? He's still at minus 61. Ah, okay, I need to press the button. Changes for 30 for 4 years. Uh, that's kinda good. <coughs> 
Can we beat these guys before the Russians arrive? I can't split off the siege now, can I? But I can, I can, I yeah, I can split it in half. But that's not, that's not good enough. Our morale is kind of low. Let's con, let's just stay here, continue the siege. When that army is beaten, I will send the mercenaries home because I don't want to pay them anymore. Oh, she's pregnant again, isn't it? Yeah, she's doing fine. She's going to produce a lot of children because she has the uh, lustful trait. Gotta love a queen with lustful. Uh, Ursa is complaining. Let her rot. Uh, no, let's put her to the oubliette. Yeah, that's her traits going down there. Diplomacy minus 20, health minus 2. Let's try and kill her, actually. Uh, she's too ugly to be my concubine. <coughs> because I have an eye for beautiful women. And, um, yeah. I was going to stay faithful to my lustful wife here. But let's, uh, let's add more concubines. Do we have anyone at court? Let's have as many women as possible. Yeah, she... Ileana, yeah, these are the same people I uh, looked at the last time in it. You? Ah, oh, kinda so, so, let's have her. Let's have her. That's a nice way to express things, isn't it? Yeah, look at those guys go now. Uh, they're off back home to mom. And here are our Russian friends. Now they retreated there. We are going to let the sage just roll. We can afford the mercenaries for now, so... No problem. What's that? Truces are expiring. Chief Lolly the Just. That's up in Finland, I know that. We're going to try that again at some point. I don't want the Danes to get into Finland. And uh, plans change, so perhaps we will go for the complete... Complete... Oh my god, I already forgot to, how to pronounce de jour. I pronounce it like, fr like in French. De jure? De jure? De jure? De Yuri? Oh my god. Why do they have to keep pumping words like Demain and De Jure? De Jure? In, um. Oh, victory at Ventana. To have a son. Oh yes, I know what your name is going to be. Frederick, that's kind of a good name, but uh, it's going to be Orm. Orm the second. I hope you will take the throne someday there. Siege of Ventava is over. I want it to pass when... <clears throat> oh? You are close. What? Doesn't that work? Because this is me in it and uh, the message concerns me. Show us a pop-up window, yeah? <coughs> Pause the game. Um, okay. Yeah, we took Ventava. Our war score went up just a bit there. <laughs> hmm. What are these guys doing? Let's continue sieging. I'll keep the mercenaries. Oh, that went fast, didn't it? We're in May. So yeah, we're building war score here. Uh, continue. Killing many of the besieging soldiers. Some bandits raided our camp. Siege of Piltini. Yeah, there we are, that's a full... Oh yeah, I need to perhaps march for his army. I'm glad now I kept my... Uh, my mercenaries, we are going to force him into battle now. 
It's going to be fun. Yeah, let's go. This is a this is a campaign. Three thousand men. This is going to be if we catch him, it's going to be the greatest battle in our history, led by Balgruf himself, with uh, Porfin on the right flank and our friend, our good friend, the Marshal Rolf, on the left. Three thousand troops. Now we can catch him. Okay. He's going where? I don't want to cross the river though. He's going to Sematia. Well, I think he's going for Kursime again. So let him go. We still get a river crossing penalty there because there's a. Now we're going to engage and we're going to. Oh! Gunhild is pregnant again. Oh yeah, you are producing. You are producing. I love it. Let's see now. This is a decisive battle. Oh, I love this screen. I just love it. I just love it. We are up against High Chief Dangaruth of the Kyronians. 1,790 men. And we have plenty. Uh, let's just let it play out and uh, really enjoy it. Yeah, we're doing fine. Victory at the Battle of Lantava. Yay, look at that. Zero men left in his army. We won a decisive, decisive victory. This took us up to 100%. War score. So, we're going to take... Uh, Take the peace treaty now. Yeah, I love the Battle of Ventava. That was kind of like very, very good. Uh, offer peace, and you will give me Kursimi. Yeah, there we are. So yeah, we are now expanding into mainland, mainland ball the mainland Baltic here Baltic area what is this called the Baltic the Baltic countries um, disband all these guys you have done well gentlemen go home and yeah uh, fleets aren't okay I need to be import cancel fleets aren't considered Army, someone told me. I think it was Alex again. Uh, but the fleets raised. We are still paying maintenance for them. And if we have vassal fleets raised, um, our vassals won't be happy. Uh, I don't know why this is, but uh, who's that? <coughs> Army of Freyr, Novgorod. Oh, it's him in it. Oh, look at the oars. I've never seen those before. I've never noticed them. Also, we should be working on our... Oh, no. I need to rule for 10 years or something like that. Has the law medium crown authority? Um... Hang on. Has the law medium crown authority? Agnatic, what's that? I just... I, al I always mix these up. Um, I don't remember what Agnatic was, <coughs> I must say. I think that means... Uh, Uh, I think that means the oldest son inherits and this means the oldest child inherits. I am not sure now. I always mix these things up. 
But I'd like to go to low crown of authority. King Balgruf cannot change another crown law in the kingdom of Baltala. Um, actually, I haven't changed the crown laws. Oh yes, now I remember back in the day when he was still a child. The crown law, he was out on some kind of adventure here. And the crown law was actually changed by his, uh, what's it called? Well, the guy who was... Uh, yeah, having the power of his regency. Oh yeah, there are troops there as well. I should have disbanded them. Yeah, uh, and uh, the crown law was changed right back into uh, minimum. <coughs> the crown authority. Feudal levies. Could I do this one? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Noble vassal tax plus ten percent. Or would it be better to get more levies? Would that be better? Because money won't really be a problem, we'll just go out raiding and stuff. I'll get the levies. Burger vassal opinion minus 10, burger vassal max levy. Minus 20%. What? Minus? I don't know what to do there. Why, why does it say that it goes down? Now where are my ships now? Oh, there they are. We're going to disband them. Um, I don't understand that number. Burger vassal max levy. Max minus 20%. Why? Let's do it anyway. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> At least we can now field 5,032 soldiers. That's kind of good. And our friend in Denmark. What? Are we equal to him? So that uh, levy Thing seems to have worked. Um, hang on. Yeah, I'm messing about with this game, I know. So they're still voting for this. Opponents. Rikov. Are they all opponents to it? Supporters. King Balgruf. With his four votes. Are they all opponents of it? At least we can now field a lot of troops all of a sudden. Um, these are not our real numbers though. Uh, the ones we see here. Um, the number we see here. So it's somewhere between 2,700 and 5,032. At least we are doing rather well. And our vassals like us here. So, uh, kind of pleased with uh, how it's uh, de developing, actually. Let's also check the color when we are coloring the map. Yeah, this is already a Baltic Empire, isn't it? We are embracing the Baltic Sea here. I love it. And we are going to do some more raiding. Let's... Uh, I'd, I'd really, really, really like to go, uh, go west this time and cause some havoc there. So, um, let's as usual uh, take our personal levies. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, I do it like this. I just pick my own counties and I raise the levies there. I'm going to take from Åland and Uppland and Westmanland and 
Sudermanland, Sudermanland, and just create a nice little. Yeah, let's take the boys from Finland. They are hard and stern. Oh, 300 men from Holland. I like that. I should get the levies up here too. Can I afford something? Yeah, castle fortifications. Fort level. Keep. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want the keep. Barracks. Heavy infantry. Stables. I'm not really interested in that at this point. Castle town. I also want that. Tax income. I could do that right now. Takes our treasury way down, but we are going out raiding now. Yeah, this is often how I raise my army. So it's just, a, I think it's a personal thing. You can also do, do it from the menus. Pick an ambition. I've forgotten that too. Uh, how, hang on. How many are they now? Are they enough? Yeah, I, that's pretty much enough for a western raid. Our previous western raid ended in a failure. I think we were in here or something. But we are going to do it... Uh, more de a more determined one now. Look, they have the plague or something there. Typhoid fever. Yeah, the little green clouds. We're going to go for Bretagne and possibly all the way to Spain. Work our way towards Spain. Oh, we also have the typhoid. No, that, those are the measles. Don't like it. But that, that is pretty much what happened during the Middle Ages. Uh, I mean, the Black Death in the, what was it, 14th century? Um, eradicated large parts of uh, Europe, actually. People died in their millions. Hold the great blood! Oh yes, we're going to do that. We ha we even have someone in our prison. Sixteen gold, yeah. We are wasting money now. We're going to do a blood before we go out to do Viking stuff. <coughs> Ambition. What should we take here? A mass wealth. I like that. Improved learning. Improved diplomacy. Improved uh, intrigue. No. We're going for the wealth. Um, yeah, 500 I think it is, if I remember correctly. Yeah, let's get our, all our happy vassals to come along here. Uh, they are happy, aren't they? Each and every one of them are. And you're just a priest, you're just a mayor. And uh, where's that guy from Gotland? Here, he's minus 18 now, that's kind of good. Do we have any <coughs> factions? Yeah, still here. Um, yeah, they won't be able to make that. So my sister is actually conspiring for my throne here. Uh, I think... Yeah, now for the human sacrifice. Angrim is no longer spymaster. Okay, Angrim. Um, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Here we are. Spymaster, we need a good guy for this. Oh. That's intrigue. 16, you're very good. Björg. Why do I remember your name? Who are you? But you like me, and you're good. You're an intricate web weaver. You are going off well. Our female spy master. You are going to scheme right here. Um, why do I remember her name? Why do I remember her name? Kraka Elizabeth. No, yeah, I don't. I don't know really. But she likes me enough. The Lords of Balpala have approved the institution of the large city levies law. Okay. 
Ursa is brought off from the dungeons and escorted to the temple. A noose is placed around her neck and the rope is thrown over a sturdy branch of a nearby oak. A small yellow pool forms at Ursa's feet. That's what you get for conspiring against Balgruf the Great. We offer you this sacrifice. Oh god. Yeah, let the celebrations begin. And with that, we also... Oh, call to arms, I love it. We're going to go and follow that. Oh, a Norwegian... Uh, what's it called? Father-in-law? Yeah, we're going to accept it right off the bat. Dear son-in-law, peace be with you. Who are you warring with? Obligation against Rolf of Trundelag. Trundelag. Okay, we accept. That's probably just a little count somewhere. Yeah, okay. Ostland it is expanding. Unfortunately, I have to leave this episode here. We are already over 30 minutes. I, as usual, I've had real, real fun. I love this game and let's playing it. I never thought it would be this much fun to actually let's play it. Uh, I'm really slow and yeah, I like that. I could do a real epic with this. And I'm going to do that when the uh, India expansion comes out. I'm going to continue on this. On the, with this game because it's real fun. I love it. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time and cheers.